535. A first look at our forecast. Russ is off. Don is in. Good morning. Yeah, well deserved. Thank you very much, uh, Kyle. And I know a lot of people enjoyed uh, heading to the White Caps game. And certainly, uh, BC Lions playing on the weekend as well. Things a little calmer sports wise this week. But we are looking at also a change in our weather forecast. Quick look at our satellite and radar imagery right now. Uh, certainly seeing some dry conditions right now. But no question, we're into some moisture. And that will likely happen as we start to see um, tomorrow afternoon approach. Looking ahead across the region, we're looking at fairly windy conditions in St. John's. Check out those temperatures. Very, very cool in Atlantic Canada. Uh, 8 degrees in Quebec. We're looking at 12 degrees and a fairly beautiful day in Toronto. Yellowknife minus 2. Sunny and cold in Edmonton. Uh, Regina at minus 2. And uh, oh, I think that's an error. White Horse, I don't believe, is quite at 20. I think it's probably closer to 2. 10 degrees for Vancouver. And yes, a mix of sun and clouds. So we may be starting with a bit more cloud now, but certainly skies will be clearing. Uh, it's going to be cool overnight. Generally clear conditions overnight lows of two, but dipping below freezing likely tonight into the Fraser Valley as you dip down to around oh zero minus one is what we're really expecting for the overnight low. Fairly decent day though, slightly warmer today around 11 degrees under a mix of sun and cloud. And yes, hot in Vancouver Island, 110 degrees, not actually closer to 11 degrees. Obviously a typo on this early Monday as I try to get uh, acclimated to the earlier start with Russ Lacate off. It is unfortunately going to look like we're going to see some moisture for Remembrance Day and really through the weekend uh, it looks like Kyle we will see um, a good chance of showers uh, and temperatures slightly below average. Fast fingers this morning? <laughs> Apparently. Okay. All right go have some coffee Don. We'll see you back here in a bit.